Ready? Great. Hello world, and welcome to the wild. Tweet, tweet. tweet. Now, today is a very special day, because we've had reports in the area of a very rare lagomorph. You may know it as a normal rabbit, but in the reports it has very peculiar behaviour. So today, our main objective is to firstly find it, and then hopefully catch it. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. See it, James, it's coming, it's coming now. James, play it off, play it off, play it off. Did you get that on camera? Please tell me you recorded it. Of course I did. Oh my god. We could have had the first footage of a rare breed. Are you sure? Just seem like an average cotton ball rabbit. I'm sure. I'm a member of the ARBA. I know my facts. Alright. Jeez. Ah, come on. Let's go find it. <laughs> hey guys. Now, my very eagle-eyed cameraman John spotted a rabbit friend heading towards a local park area. And as you can see right now, we're not tracking him to catch him, as we want to see how he interacts with other humans. Wow, these are the actual rabbit droppings. Now, at this time you might be wondering what is the ARBA, as earlier on I mentioned it in the program. Now, it stands for the American Rabbit Breed Association, and as I'm one of the 30,000 plus members, I know two things for definite. There's 45 recognized breeds of rabbits, and the rabbits eat their own droppings. Now, I've always wondered, if rabbits eat their own droppings and obviously survive, why can't we? After all, we are both mammals. James, what the fuck are you doing? What? You're eating the rabbit's shit. Oh, seriously, it, it, it's good. It tastes, it tastes good. Oh. It looks like our male rabbit friend has found female attraction. Let's see what happens. 